हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू फार्मा जी एल पी इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस ऑटो सैम्पलर एंड कॉलम ओवन कैलिब्रेशन पैरामीटर्स एज पर आई पी गाइडलाइन फॉर कैलिब्रेशन ऑफ ऑटो सैम्पलर द पैरामीटर्स आर इंजेक्शन वॉल्यूम एक्यूरेसी इंजेक्शन वॉल्यूम प्रिसीजन इंजेक्शन वॉल्यूम लिनियरिटी एंड ऑटो सैम्पलर टेम्परेचर एक्यूरेसी इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव कवर्ड pump related calibration parameters if you have missed those videos you can check it out before continuing with this video i have given a link of those videos in the description now starting with injection volume accuracy to perform injection volume accuracy we require hplc grade water analytical weighing balance and hplc vial pulse the instrument with hplc grade water and program the hplc system with chromatographic conditions such as मोबाइल फेस एच पी एल सी ग्रेड वॉटर फ्लोरेट वन पॉइंट जीरो एम एल पर मिनिट रन टाइम इज अबाउट वन मिनिट इंजेक्शन वॉल्यूम ट्वेंटी माइक्रोलीटर नाउ फिल द एच पी एल सी वायर विथ एच पी एल सी ग्रेड वॉटर एंड क्लोज विथ कैप वे दिस वायर यूजिंग एनालिटिकल वेइंग बैलेंस एंड रेकॉर्ड द वेट इन ग्रैम्स दिस विल गिव इनिशियल वेट ऑफ वायर एज डब्ल्यू वन द वॉटर इज यूज फॉर इंजेक्शन वॉल्यूम एक्यूरेसी टेस्ट एज Its density is 0.982 gram per ml at 20 degree and 0.970 gram per ml at 25 degree. This introduces less than 0.3 percent error when volume is assumed equal to weight. Inject 20 microliter from HPLC vial and repeat it for 10 times. That is 10 replicate of injections from the same HPLC vial. After completion of 10 injections remove the vial and weigh again to get final weight as W2 value Now calculate the average volume in microliter injected per injection using the formula as average volume is equal to W1 minus W2 divided by 10 into 1000 will give microliter per injection The acceptance criteria is the average volume for 10 injections of 20 microliter should be within plus or minus 0.4 microliter Now in second parameter we will understand how to perform injection volume precision In this the chromatographic conditions required to perform injection volume precision are same as required for flow rate consistency performed during pump calibration So to determine injection volume precision we require HPL secret water HPL secret methanol C18 or C8 column caffeine IPRS analytical weighing balance and glass ware such as 100 ml volumetric flask 1 ml pipette and beaker for dilution flush the hplc system with hplc grade water for about half an hour prepare mobile phase by mixing equal volume of hplc grade methanol and water that is in the ratio of 50 to 50 volume by volume and degas for few minutes to remove air bubble from mobile phase now accurately weigh about 100 mg of caffeine iprs that is caffeine standard using analytical weighing balance in 200 ml volumetric flask add about 10 ml of methanol and dissolve and then make up to the volume with mobile phase to get stock solution having 1000 ppm concentration further take 1 ml of this solution into 100 ml volumetric flask and dilute with mobile phase to get solution having 10 ppm concentration after that set the hplc system using chromatographic conditions such as mobile phase methanol and water in 50s to 50 ratio column is c18 or c8 having 250 mm length 4.6 mm inner diameter and 5 micron particle size the flow rate is 1 ml per minute injection volume 20 microliter detection wavelength uv at 272 nanometer run time about 10 minutes The expected retention time of caffeine peak is about 5 minutes. Allow the system to stabilize, then inject blank solution as mobile phase and then inject 6 replicates of 10 ppm caffeine solution. Record the chromatogram of 6 injections and calculate percentage RSD of peak area of caffeine as obtained from chromatograms. The acceptance criteria is the percentage RSD for the peak area of caffeine should not be more than 1.0%. Now in third parameter we will understand how to perform injection volume linearity again the chromatographic conditions are same as required for injection volume precision and flow rate consistency so we can club these three parameters together or can be performed individually the injection volume linearity is performed using the same 10 ppm caffeine solution by varying injection volumes such as 5 microliter 10 20 50 and 100 microliter in this the concentration of caffeine standard is kept constant and injection volume is changed 
Now, set the HPLC system, inject blank solution and then inject 10 ppm caffeine solution with duplicate injections of 5 microliter, 10, 20, 50 and 100 microliter and detector response is measured. From the data obtained, plot the linearity graph of mean area count of duplicate injection on y-axis against injection volume on x-axis and calculate the value of correlation coefficient or r-square. The acceptance criteria is the R square should be not less than 0 0.990. Now in fourth parameter we will understand how to perform auto sampler temperature accuracy. To perform auto sampler temperature accuracy we require calibrated digital thermometer. Set the sample compartment temperature at 40 degree and allow the system to stabilize for 10 minutes. After about 10 minutes Record the observed temperature using a calibrated probe with digital thermometer. Now repeat the same procedure at 30 degree, 15 degree, 10 degree and 5 degree and record the observed temperature. The acceptance criteria is the observed temperature should be within plus minus 2 degree of the set temperature. Now we will discuss calibration of column oven. To perform calibration of column oven, again we require calibrated digital thermometer. Set the column oven temperature at 60 degree. Allow the system to stabilize for 10 minutes. After about 10 minutes, record the temperature using a calibrated probe with a digital thermometer. And repeat the same procedure at 50 degree, 30 degree, 20 degree and 10 degree. And record the observed temperature. The acceptance criteria is, the observed temperature should be within plus or minus 2 degree of the set temperature. That's all for today's video. I hope this is useful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.